China is aiming to challenge the United States' global military supremacy, particularly in the realm of military technology. To achieve this goal, China has been developing a new stealth bomber, the H-20, in hopes of rivaling the advanced capabilities of the US's B-2 stealth bomber. This upcoming aircraft has been shrouded in secrecy and speculation, leaving many questions unanswered. What does it look like? How fast can it fly? How far can it travel? How stealthy is it? And how does it compare to the B-2? The H-20's debut is highly anticipated, as it represents China's aspirations for military dominance, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. While details about the H-20 have been scarce, a recruiting video released by the People's Liberation Army Air Force in 2021 provided a glimpse of this stealth bomber, hinting at its cutting-edge features. Expected to be China's first dedicated strategic bomber capable of carrying both nuclear and conventional payloads over long distances, the H-20 is projected to have a significant payload capacity and an extensive operational range. It is seen as a crucial component of China's efforts to enhance its military capabilities and assert its influence on the global stage, potentially challenging adversaries such as the United States, Japan, India, and Australia. Reports suggest that China has prioritized stealth and deep penetration capabilities over speed and agility with the H-20, opting for a design akin to the US's B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider. This design choice aligns with China's track record of espionage and stealth technology development. Despite the Chinese government's reluctance to acknowledge the H-20's existence, leaked information and reports from sources within China indicate that the bomber is poised to surpass the capabilities of American counterparts like the B-2 and B-21 bombers. However, the full extent of the H-20's capabilities remains largely speculative, as its development continues under a veil of secrecy. The report additionally indicated that the H-20 would possess versatile capabilities, including reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and anti-ship missions, alongside its bombing capabilities. The South China Morning Post, another influential newspaper in China, also shared insights on the bomber. According to the newspaper, the H-20 is expected to outperform its US counterparts in terms of both payload capacity and operational range. It is projected to carry 45 tons of weapons and travel 11,900 kilometers without refueling, surpassing the B-2's capacity of 20 tons and 11,250 kilometers range. Although the B-52, the oldest bomber in the US arsenal, can carry 35 tons and fly 14,000 kilometers, it lacks stealth capabilities, rendering it vulnerable to modern air defenses. Quoting a Chinese military expert, the newspaper highlighted the H-20's low observable design, which would significantly reduce its detectability by radar, infrared, or acoustic sensors. Additionally, the H-20 is anticipated to possess nuclear capabilities, enhancing China's strategic assets by enabling nuclear strikes from various directions and distances, thereby complicating enemy defense strategies. Currently, China relies on the H-6N, a modified version of the Russian Tu-16 bomber, for its nuclear deterrence, but its lack of stealth and limited range limits its effectiveness. The H-20's potential to carry more nuclear weapons over longer distances would bolster China's nuclear deterrence. Given China's history of emulating or appropriating foreign military technology, such as the similarities between the US F-22 Raptor and the Chinese J-20 stealth fighters, the resemblance between the H-20 and the B-2 is not unexpected. The B-2's flying wing design, which reduces radar cross-section and enhances aerodynamic efficiency, appears to be a model for the H-20's design, continuing China's trend of incorporating proven technological elements into its military advancements. The H-20 is anticipated to share a similar design with potential enhancements, such as increased speed and improved stealth coatings. Analysts speculate that if the H-20 extends its operational range beyond the first island chain off China's coast, it could pose a threat to areas in the South China Sea, Japan, the Philippines, and even Guam, a U.S. territory. With aerial refueling, it might even reach Hawaii or parts of the U.S. mainland. Responding to this perceived threat, the U.S. has reportedly initiated the production of the B-21 bomber, a stealth aircraft aimed at challenging China's air superiority in the Indo-Pacific region. According to the Chinese state-run newspaper, 
global times. This move by the US indicates an obsession with containing China and could potentially backfire. The B-21 Raider, the latest bomber in the US Air Force arsenal, conducted its first flight in December 2023, with plans to have over 100 in service by the 2030s, replacing older B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit bombers. The B-21 will complement the upgraded B-52J Stratofortress, forming a diverse bomber fleet. The US asserts that the B-21, along with the next-generation air dominance program aiming to develop a new fighter jet, is part of its strategy to compete with China as a major power. While the B-21, like its predecessor the B-2, relies on stealth technology to avoid enemy detection, some Chinese military experts argue that the B-21 has sacrificed size, payload, and range to lower production and maintenance costs. They suggest that the B-21's smaller size and modularity enable easier mass production and upgrades. The US anticipates employing distributed operations with a large number of B-21S, allowing them to operate from various locations and directions, making them harder to target and destroy. While the US sees the B-21 as a strategic asset to challenge China's air power in the Indo-Pacific, Chinese military analysts express skepticism and criticism over the rushed production schedule. They argue that demonstration and prototype stages typically require significant time before mass production begins, cautioning against potential technical issues that could impede progress. An anonymous Chinese military expert warns that rushing development could lead to unforeseen challenges related to reliability, performance, compatibility, and maintenance, suggesting that the B-21 project may encounter setbacks, despite its early stages of development. He emphasized that the U.S. should refrain from rushing the production of the B-21 until thorough testing has been conducted and its capabilities and features have been verified. Chinese analysts assert a moral high ground over the U.S., stating that while Beijing does not seek an arms race, it will bolster its defenses to protect its territory. They contend that China adopts a defensive and peaceful strategy, contrasting with what they perceive as the U.S.'s offensive and aggressive approach. China aims to defend its territory and deter interference or provocation from the US by enhancing its defensive capabilities, including advanced anti-stealth radar systems, surface-to-air missiles, air superiority fighters, and standoff weapons. They cite the development and deployment of various systems and weapons such as the J-20 Stealth Fighter DF. 21D anti-ship ballistic missile, HQ, a 9 long-range air defense missile, and KJ, 2000 early warning and control aircraft, as evidence of China's commitment to improving its air defense and offense capabilities. Meanwhile, Northrop Grumman, the manufacturer of the B-21 Raider, has disclosed a nearly $1.6 billion pre-tax charge on the program in the last quarter of 2023 due to higher-than-expected production costs and macroeconomic instability. Despite this setback, the US remains determined to make the B-21 program a success, considering it a crucial asset in potential conflicts with China or Russia, both of which have been bolstering their military capabilities. The B-21 Raider will play a dual role in the US nuclear triad, capable of carrying both nuclear and conventional weapons and performing various missions such as reconnaissance, surveillance, an electronic attack. The primary objective of the radar will be to neutralize China's anti-access area denial A2AD, network, which aims to keep the US and its allies away from China's territory and interests. To counter these threats, the radar will utilize its stealth features to reduce radar signature and infrared emissions, along with electronic jamming capabilities to disrupt enemy communications and sensors. Subsequently, it will conduct precise and lethal attacks on critical enemy assets such as command and control centers, military bases, and nuclear facilities. Ultimately, the effectiveness of these two bombers in future conflicts remains a subject of debate, trial, and error. What are your opinions on this matter? Do you think that China's approach is solely aimed at self-defense? Why? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.
Thank <laughs> you.